Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Uh, let's talk baseball and let's talk Mike McGuire. How about that, Dan Plant? Yeah, let's do it. Big, big uh, bombshell, I guess. And, you know, people suspected it all along. But uh, the baseball commissioner is actually praising Mark McGuire for admitting that he used steroids while he was a player. McGuire said that he has used the human growth hormone, and he didn't know. He wasn't using it for performance enhancing. He was using it to rehab himself back. That's what he says anyway. Dr. Stephen Rohr is a sports medicine specialist from Alvarado Hospital. He's here to talk about some of these things. Good morning. Good morning. Well, first of all, he announced the fact that he announced this, I guess, a lot of us suspected that this was the case anyway. Sure. Yeah. So now that he admits it, um, I guess what we want to talk about is the danger of sure. the, of the sure. steroids and what it does to your body sure. and, and as it relates to, obviously, kids. Because you see kids as young as five and six years old and then, obviously, professional athletes sure. as sure. well. Um, what does this stuff do? McGuire says he was doing it to rehab himself, not for performance-enhancing purposes. Well, it's interesting. When we talk about performance-enhancing drugs, we think about human growth hormone, steroids, and within the steroid category, there's certainly many many, many substances that can be used to enhance performance for a period. But that doesn't come without a negative or detrimental effect. And those negative effects can be in the form of cardiovascular, they can be musculoskeletal, bones, joints, tendons, ligaments, things like this, having actually be being degraded over a short period of time, though they seem to enhance performance for a period. And this is what we try to stress with the youngsters is that Though they think that they're getting a, an enhanced performance, they really will pay the price ultimately later. And, and there's some indication, some indication that perhaps this is what led to Mark McGuire's career being quite a bit, cut, cut quite a bit short. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you put this stuff in your body, it's breaking, it's breaking your body down. Right. Right. Isn't it? Sure. I mean, it bet. builds it up. Work. Does it actually work? Does it actually work when you take these things and, and you start working out with weights? What does it do to your body? Well, the steroids, as well as the human growth hormone, will add to the bulk of the muscle. And there's quite a bit of biochemistry that's involved. And yet, uh, we understand that, that these things, though for a period, like we said, can build things up, the biochemistry is that the muscles build their bulk quicker than you would in uh, just ordinary terms of working out. Is there a proper place for steroids and human growth hormones? I mean, can it be used appropriately? and can it be beneficial? The steroids that uh, we use for therapeutic uses mm -hmm. are in smaller doses and over a shorter period of time. And you usually do not have the detrimental effects that you see with the steroids that they use for performance enhancing purposes. And Mark McGuire in his interviews I know said he used them for a number of years. 10, ten years, years or yeah. so. So, uh, so one, uh, they are appropriate in certain situations, but must be controlled and under the care of someone who understands the risks and the benefits. So was there a possibility that Mike, Mark McGuire actually was using these to get himself back into shape <laughs> for 10 years? Well, it's possible, but I think if we just look at the numbers with him, obviously we see it in lots of arenas in the Olympics and Tour de France, yeah. et cetera, but with just him, mm -hmm. when we consider his numbers of perhaps just the home run figures, yeah. before he began using them, they were much, much lower. And after he began using them, they were much, much higher. So, you know, the argument is, do they enhance performance or is it just a therapeutic reason? Uh, it's interesting because sports and athletics are for the purpose of displaying one's natural attributes. And this is absolutely not what this does. Yeah. It takes and it brings the unnatural into the realm and makes it really a not fair competition for everybody that's on the playing field. Which is why a lot of people are saying he's absolutely not going to make it into the <laughs> Hall of Fame. Right, right. In that case. All right, Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your here. time. Yeah, You're good welcome. to see you.